If you hear anyone saying that, that's a red flag right away. Hey everyone, this is Ken and here's what you need to know before purchasing your first wall strap. If you are new to Deluxe or new to the world of third-party straps, there may be a lot of questions that you have. In this video, we'll tackle some of the most common misconceptions that people have about wall straps and tell you how you can switch your original strap to one from a third-party brand like Deluxe. The first misconception is that you have to use the original strap or bracelet that comes with your watch or that you have to be an expert with professional tools in order to remove the strap. That is not true. You can actually remove the strap pretty easily and put on another strap to switch up the look. Here's how. Most bracelets or straps are attached to your watch with this tiny little thing called a spring bar. Take this moon swatch for example. You can actually remove the strap that comes on the moon swatch pretty easily by using a spring bar tool to compress the spring bar and slide out the strap. By the way, if you own a moon swatch, the very first thing that you should do is to immediately ditch the original velcro strap and put something else on it. Some watches have drill lugs and you can use a sharp object to compress the spring bar and remove the strap. If your watch comes on a bracelet such as this Tudor Black Bay 54, it can be a little bit tricky but with some skill and practice, you can also remove the bracelet on your own. This handy little spring bar tool is pretty inexpensive and you can find them at most watch shops or you can buy them on our website. Once the original strap is removed, that's where the fun really begins. You can put any strap on this watch. The first thing that you need to find out is the lug width of the watch. For this moon swatch for example, it's a 20mm lug width so you need to get any strap that has the same 20mm in width. We have straps in stock ranging from 16mm up to 26mm. Our straps come with quick release spring bars at default so you can install the strap without using any specific tool. The second misconception that most people have is that leather straps will break down after a short period of use and you have to be very careful in how you use and maintain the strap. Here's an example of a used strap. You can actually see that around the edges and the sides, the leather is starting to crack and peel. Unfortunately, this is most people's first experience with leather products but I'm here to tell you that that is not the norm. There are different grades of leather made from different parts of the animal that results in different qualities. On the high end, you have full grain leather and on the lower end, you have bonded leather. You can think of full grain leather as a solid piece of wood and bonded leather as like a particle board. With full grain leather, it is the outermost layer of the skin which has a lot of fibre that holds the structure together. This makes the leather much more durable. With bonded leather, it's made of shredded leather scraps and covered with a thin layer of finished leather. The fibres aren't as strong and the leather quickly breaks down after a short period of use. If your original strap is made of bonded leather, it may look good on day one, but it will quickly break down and disintegrate after you've used it for some time. However, with full grain leather, such as this strap from Deluxe, you can expect to get many years of use out of it. In fact, some leather straps will also patina, resulting in that worn-in look with a slight sheen. Here's one of our straps that has been used for many years and you can see that it has developed a lot of character and it actually looks better than it does when it's brand new. The third misconception is that all leather straps start off stiff. You have to suffer for a period, wear it in before it gets comfortable. If you hear anyone saying that, that's a red flag right away. Here's an OEM strap and here's one of our straps made of a similar leather and thickness. When handling the two straps, you can immediately tell the difference in the stiffness between the two of them. The stiffness of a strap depends on two factors. First is the type of material used and second is the thickness of the strap. A strap typically consists of the top layer, a layer of stiffener, the padding and the lining material. The specific choice of material used is important as some material can be stiffer than others. For example, you can see the difference in stiffness comparing this glossy ostrich leather compared to this rubberized leather that we have. Also, a thicker strap is generally more stiff than a thinner strap. You don't want to craft a strap that is too stiff that it becomes uncomfortable to wear, but at the same time, you also don't want to craft a strap that's too pliable that doesn't give you confidence when you put it on your watch. For example, to make our signature straps comfortable, the padding actually ends at the strap holes, so you only have padding where it makes sense. The last misconception is that there's a standard length to straps, and if you have a smaller wrist, you always end up with a lot of excess strap when you put the watch on. This may be true for OEM straps, but it's definitely not true for third-party straps. Watch brands will choose the strap length that matches most of their customers 
or they may make a strap that is very long and has many strap holes so that it technically fits a wide range of wrist sizes. While this is optimal for the general population, it is sub-optimized for you, the person wearing the watch. There's really no reason why you need so many strap holes because most of the time, you'll probably use at most three of them. That's why at Deluxe, we stock straps of different sizes from small to medium to large to cater to the different wrist sizes out there. You can also custom make the straps to your specification. You can choose any length that you want. You can punch the holes at any specific location. So the strap is bespoke for you. So if you find that the OEM strap is just too long, swap it out. Get a shorter strap from any third party brand like Deluxe and I'll guarantee that it will improve your wearing experience. Switching out the strap, figuring out the lug width, figuring out the size you need may all seem pretty intimidating. But once you know the basics and you've done it a few times, you are no longer restricted to the original strap or bracelet that comes with your watch. And that's where the fun really begins. Just like changing clothes, you can change the strap to get a totally different look compared to the boring black or brown strap that typically comes on watches. I hope you've learned something about watch straps from watching this video and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe and stay strapped for more.